When it comes to artists who go viral, there's often a logic to it. No matter what, anything that's big is so for an understandable reason. Some rappers get big for scandals, or for beef. Others get big for a few songs and then become swallowed up by the ever-growing sea of rappers. Looking at Zanti in particular, can we really say he's gone viral? I think so. Consider this, his debut song was a single called God Taught Me. It came from Rapzilla's channel with a respectable audience of around 140,000 subscribers, but his God Taught Me video in particular garnered over 1 million views shortly after its release. This is highly uncommon for the videos that go on Rapzilla's channel, and given that Zanti was previously not well known, it's clear that he's blown up to some extent. The only questions remaining are, why did he get so popular in such a short time, and why is his audience, known as the Zealot Gang, so dedicated? Or perhaps I shouldn't say exactly. The goal of this channel isn't really to box in artists and try to define everything about them. Rather, I'm going to be looking at Zanti's artistry from a unique perspective and seeing if I can find some possible reasons as to why he's got such a devoted audience. It's not often that these young artists swiftly gather such a following, and so I think an analysis would be worthwhile. There's all types of artists when it comes to hip-hop. When I see Zanti, I immediately think of a performer or an entertainer. This is most obvious when watching his debut music video, God Taught Me. Starting with his appearance, Zanti distances himself from the vast majority of rappers, and not just by his skin color. His hair is a striking pale blonde, and he's wearing a baggy, soft pink shirt. It's a visually engaging appearance, and while watching the video, we can see that Zanti has a lot of energy and passion. He's constantly making movements and maintaining a sense of excitement or hype. In fact, the song goes so hard that if you play it too loud, the bass starts to crack. Some might call that poor technique, but I look at it from another angle. I think it actually resonates with a lot of people. We're drawn to things that might be considered controversial, or in a harsher sense, bad. Just look at artists like Lil Pump, Lil Uzi Vert, and XXXTentacion. On one hand, I've seen countless comments and reviews insisting that these guys sound awful. On the flip side, I've seen even more insistence that these guys are some of the greatest artists around. I'm seeing a similar trend with Zanti, as the criticism I've seen towards him mostly deals with people thinking his sound is not good. Meanwhile, the people who support him seem to seriously support him. In Rapzilla's Best of 2017 awards, Zanti's Zealot Gang pushed him into the following. The number one new artist of 2017. The number one single of 2017. The number one music video of 2017. These guys aren't playing around, and we can see that Zanti is indeed developing a particularly devoted base of listeners. For a lot of these guys, their first exposure to him was in that God Taught Me music video. That video where the bass is extremely loud, his appearance is borderline eccentric, and his energy as well as his confidence are through the roof. Some were turned off by the combination of this, but a large amount of viewers saw something in Zanti that allowed them to make that choice of becoming dedicated supporters. Our only question left is, what is that something? Again, my goal isn't to try and explain away everything about Zanti. There's many things I still don't understand, and besides, that would just take the fun out of his music. Zanti is a bit of an enigma, but I feel that there's at least a few clear reasons as to why he's gathered such a hardcore audience. It takes one listen to Zanti to feel what his style is. If your headphones are high enough, it might actually hurt your ears. That's because this guy's music is loud and wild. Loud music is empowering music. It's the kind of music that explodes with emotion rather than being subtle. Zanti's blaring production and sounds are simply intense, and that's going to attract people. People can pick up on that level of raw energy and confidence. It's part of what makes Zanti eccentric in a strong way. He puts so much conviction and emotion into his music that, when listeners hear it, it may inspire them to support them with their whole heart. This must be true for at least a number of people, those who use their votes to help him secure so many awards for Rapzilla's Best of 2017. Depending on how you look at the idea of youth, it can embody many things. It can represent that difficult stage where teenagers battle their emotions and struggle with newfound responsibilities. It can be that stage where young adults try to find their identity while coming to terms with real life. However, the kind of youth that Zanti represents is different. It's almost like that of a kid's, seeing as kids often don't care what others think about them. Kids do what they want, and they tell you how they feel without much consideration for what's proper. 
Zanti's music is not childish, but it does have a certain purity and rebelliousness to it. He says what he thinks, and isn't concerned about how he looks for saying it. This works especially well for him as an openly Christian artist. Even his debut song that blew up was essentially him bragging about how God taught him everything he's doing. The production that he utilizes complements this style, as his beats often seem to amplify what he's saying. Whether or not we relate to Zanti's approach, he's impossible to ignore. His loud persona and unique appearance are a powerful combination. On top of that, his bold and confrontational way of talking about things is likely motivational to a young audience. After all, as anyone who has experienced youth knows, young people ultimately want to feel confident and unbothered by what others think about them. Zanti's music personifies that in a way, and that's an element that makes it so empowering. His lyrics are often simple and straight to the point, but that may be what makes them refreshing and easy to relate to. Music doesn't have to be full of complex rhymes in order to hit listeners where it matters. At the same time, not everyone can pull off a more simple approach as strongly as Zanti. It's his energy and youthful presentation that really sell his style, and it's working wonders for him. At the end of it all, no one really saw Zanti coming, but he's here now, and his zealot gang is more than ready to help. This video was a brief glimpse into how he got here, and why it is that he's got a zealot gang to begin with. But what do you guys think about Zanti? Do you agree with what I've said about him, or did I miss some reasons as to why he's gotten so popular? Drop a comment below and let me know, as I'm really curious to see any other perspectives on this artist. Until next time, peace out.